रामाय राम भद्राय राम चंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीता पति अयोध्या कांड चैप्टर नंबर नाइन्टी एट द सर्च फॉर द आश्रम द रेसिटेशन बिगिन्स नाउ Having assigned suitable quarters for the troops, Bharata proceeded on foot, all a thirst to catch a glimpse of Rama. He turned to Shatrughna and said, "Take these hunters and our retinue and carefully search every inch of this forest. Let Guha and his kin arm themselves and rest not until they come upon the ashram of Rama." I shall engage myself in the same task assisted by my ministers priests brahmanas and citizens my soul knows no peace until i behold rama his heroic brother lakshmana and the thrice fortunate sita my heart knows no joy until i bless my eyes with the sight of my brother's face lovely as a moon in her full orb and of his eyes large and lustrous as lotus leaves Grief will be my companion until I lay my head at my brother's feet, adorned with the dhaja flag, the vajra, the favorite weapon of Indra, the lotus, the elephant goat, the vase holding the amrita, and other signs of royalty. Sorrow will dog my steps until my brother is seated on the splendid throne, worthy of his rank and worth. The diadem of the emperor is on his brows, and crown me with his holy feet that become me most. My heart will bleed until I see my brother bathed with the holy waters on the glorious throne that has come down to us through countless eons of time. How blessed is Lakshmana to be able to behold the face of my Rama, resplendent as the full orb moon and lighted up with star-like eyes! How fortunate is Sita to be privileged to follow Rama, the Lord of the Worlds! Holy, thrice holy, is Mount Chitrakuta to offer a dwelling to Prince Rama when he is wandering through the pathless forests, an exile and stranger. Mount Himalaya is nowhere beside it. These wild birds that know no man but form the home and haunt of fierce beasts have laid up untold merit in past ages. Else, what chance for Rama to dwell here and be the light of lights and the lord of wealth? And Bharata, all unused to trudge a foot, threaded the mazes of lofty forest trees, lending an additional charm to the hill slopes by the graceful burden of fruits and flowers. He revolved in his mind what he should say to Rama and what telling arguments he should adduce. He reached the foot of a stately shala tree that crowned the summit of Chitrakuta with its lovely flowers and foliage, and espied a column of smoke rising from the ashram of Rama. The people thereabouts informed him and his followers that Rama dwelt nearby. He fainted with joy like storm-tossed mariners at the sight of land. Then the troops halted there while Bharata and Guha proceeded towards the ashram of Rama, their attendants following them at a distance. Mangalam Koshlendraya Mahaniya Gunabdi Chakravarti Dhanurjaya Sarvabhaumaya Mangalam.